during the uh, dry spell, they've been coming into this parlour and helping themselves to the cake that's up uh, fed to the sheep when they come in to be milked. Um, and uh, crapping all over the place and making a right nuisance of themselves. The uh, owner came in one morning and there were four in here. So um, we're trying to thin some of those out of it. I think they must be cubs. Um, there has been a, a litter or two that are right down the back. I mean, it's, it's extremely difficult shooting there because the river's one side and it's a very long, thin sort of piece of land that uh, backs onto another farm. So uh, unless you can call them into a safe area it's uh, it's very difficult to shoot them there. We check a field on the way and David spots one. Right, they're on. There was one over the far side but the cows were right behind it. There's not much, we uh, can't take a shot at that. We soon get to the field where he has more chance of shooting them. He gives it a call. And things start to go right. Hey! Well, that's quite a satisfactory, well done. Yeah. On the side of the farmhouse. Yeah! So what, what happened, just talk me through what happened. Um, squeaking, and they obviously came out of that wood, and I always try and remember to check behind us when we're squeaking. The lo and behold, two were there. So just deployed the sticks. Came out, uh, the first one was fine. Uh, the second one ran off a bit and uh, we got it in the field. The first one is a fully grown dog fox. Yeah, that's not a cub at all, is it? No. Let's go and see what the other one is. The second one, this year's cub that David was looking for. Now, David takes his kit seriously and there are links below to his reviews of his Spartan tripod sticks, his Pulsar Accolade 2 thermal monocular, his night vision from Ludicrous Lumens, which has a 3D printed case, and you can search for all of it on kitfinder.co.uk.